welcome all Forte users to this introductory video of the Forte Notation program. In the following minutes, we'll show you the first steps in creating your own music sheet. We also offer numerous other tutorials on our YouTube channel. After starting Forte, several options will be displayed to help you get started quickly and easily. We'll begin with the score wizard, as here all essential information can be added to your musical work on a step-by-step -step basis. In step one, we enter the title, composer, arranger, and further details if required. Click Next for an extensive list of instruments from which you can choose all desired instruments and insert them into the score by clicking Add. In the final step, you can choose the meter. If the required meter is not featured in the list, you can enter it manually. The key, in this case C major, the number of bars, if already known, as well as the options of adding an upbeat and determining the tempo. Click Finish to view your configured score. The Program view bundles the functions selected in the 11 main tabs and allows you to access them quickly. This offers you easy access to all necessary tools and enables you to keep up the workflow with a minimum of clicks to access particular functions. First, we'll assign our file a name and a location for saving. To do this, open the main menu in the upper left-hand corner and select Save As. After selecting the location where you'd like to save your file, we've selected the My Library folder, we enter a name and click Save. To enter notes into the score, Forte offers two basic modes, Select Mode and Insert Mode. In order to input notes, we need to activate Insert Mode. To make changes in the score after entering notes, Select Mode is used. Now we'll start inputting notes, for which we either select Insert to activate Insert Mode using the mouse, or we use the Input palette. This automatically activates Insert Mode. In the Input palette, you'll find all notation elements available in Forte to create a complete score. The compact display of all possible score content in this palette makes working considerably easier and saves you searching through the entire program structure for hours. To write the first notes of Little John Hensian Klein, we select the quarter note value from the Notes section of the input palette and place the notes in the score. The music ruler helps to accurately input notes with the mouse. Above the staff, we see the division of the bar into beats. This enables us to place notes precisely on a beat. Rests are input automatically. The music ruler completes the bar with the required rests. This will save us several steps during the input procedure. In order to write a half note, the note value has to be changed in the input palette. Forte 7 also enables you to enter notes via a virtual keyboard. In order to use this option, first select the note value from the input palette, then determine the pitch with the keyboard. To listen to written notes, select the main tab Play. Make sure the time code is set to zero, i.e. the beginning of the score, and click Play. The tempo initially chosen does not fit here, so we'll change it in the Tempo section. We enter 120 and press Enter. We can also see an immediate change of the metronome indication for the tempo on our score. Now we click Play again and listen to the first two staves. During replay, we heard two mistakes. To correct them, we first activate Select Mode, click on the incorrect note with the cursor, and delete it by hitting the Delete button. Since we want to insert a note here, we select the correct value in the input palette and place it on the staff with the correct pitch. 
In the case of the second mistake, the note value is correct and only the pitch is wrong. We therefore activate select mode, click on the note, and use the key combination of control plus the up and down arrows to change the pitch in half steps. For retrospective editing of written notation elements, we use the Properties window. This can be activated and deactivated via the Palettes menu. It can also be opened by double-clicking on the desired notation element in the score. In the Properties window, you can then change pitch and note value, the lyrics, the design, the color of the element, for example, as well as element-specific settings. Each element has specific input features that change the properties of the cursor accordingly. To finish this introduction, we'll show you three different options. One is the insertion of slurs, where you can draw a frame box around the notes that should be included in the slur. When adding dynamic accents to single notes, the cursor turns into a hairline cross. To add the same accent to two or more successive notes, you can also draw a frame box around them. Lyrics can also be added with just a few clicks. We select Lyrics from the input palette and start with the first note. Forte offers many other necessary, helpful, and exciting options that we did not cover in this video. You can find further information, help, and more tutorials on our YouTube channel and in our Knowledge Database. For now, we hope you enjoy creating your very own score. Thanks for watching from your Forte team.